Okay guys, so in this video, we are going to improve our last mobile keyword package or project with events and just a little bit of graphic impro graphics improvements. All right, let's go. So first things off, I'm gonna change the camera color to something lighter, easier on the eye. Let's add a quick text component. So let's call it um, text, all right. Let's change the font from Arial to uh, Odin rounded. All right, let's make it best fit. Let's align it to the center. Mm, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, like so. Let's increase the max size to whatever, 300 maybe. Then it will adapt. It'll adapt. Okay, let's make it maybe white with some Mm, yeah, white is also is already good. Okay, white is good enough. Let's make a container for that. So let's use. Oh, I'm gonna import some sprites and come back. Okay, I'm back, guys. So here are the sprites I've imported. I'm gonna make a video to show you the importance of having a graphics library for your mobile game development journey. It's super useful, and you you can save so much time. Okay, so let's use this contour maybe. Drop it like so. Yeah, I think we're good now. And let's parent the text to our image. So this will be the text container. All right, good. So the text, will, we are gonna change the anchors to stretch. Okay, so it's gonna be, let's add some padding here, maybe 20 pixels on all sides. All right, perfect. Then let's add a new game object, reset the transform and call it input manager okay let's create a new script not sprite script yeah that we're gonna call input manager okay let's drag this and drop it into our input manager game object and let's open it so the input manager will be responsible of changing the text when we press a key so here let's use unityengine.ui like we did previously. Let's add an elements header. All right. And let's create a field for our text. Okay, cool. So now we want to open the keyboard script. And whenever we press a key, so either the backspace or the key pressed or any key actually, we want to send an event with the key that we pressed. So here, let's create a new header for events. Let's create a new action. And here we need to add the system library. So let's add it right now. Okay. So let's create an action called on key pressed. And this will take a char as an argument. All right. And let's create another action. Uh, on backspace pressed, on backspace pressed. Cool, perfect. Now, whenever we press a key, we want to send this event. So let's say on key pressed, invoke. So here we are using a question mark and invoke to prevent having an error if no script receives this event. All right, so we are just gonna pass in the key. And here for the backspace, same thing, on backspace pressed invoke nice let's go back to our input manager so here we want to add a reference to our keyboard to receive these events keyboard let's say keyboard okay in the start method let's say let's subscribe to these events so keyboard dot on backspace pressed plus equals so we are adding a callback to our event uh, let's call it backspace pressed callback. Okay, same thing for the on key pressed plus equals on, uh, sorry, key pressed callback. Oh no, all right, let's create these two methods. So private void backspace pressed callback and same thing for the key pressed callback that will take a char as argument. It will be the key. All right, now 
So now, whenever we press a key on our keyboard, we want to add this key to our text. So let's say plus equals key dot to string. That's as simple as that. And whenever we press the backspace key, we want to remove a character form from our text. So to do that, we can say text dot text equals a substring of our text. So substring takes a start index as argument or a start index and the length of the string you want to have. So for the start index, I'm going to say zero. So we want to start from the index zero. And then we want to remove a character. So I'm just going to say here text.text.length minus one. So this helps us remove a character. But to do so, we need to make sure that our text length is greater than zero. Because if we don't have any character, we don't want to remove a character because we don't have one. All right, let's remove the update function. We don't, we won't need it. And let's go back to Unity. Cool, let's input our text and our keyboard here. All right, let's hit play and check if this works. So now Q, A, W, E, R. Okay, perfect. It seems to be working pretty well. Nice. Awesome. Oh, how do you run? Awesome. Perfect. So now we've improved our keyboard and you can use it in any situation you want. You can also use lowercase keys or use the keyword in any language you want to. Perfect. I hope you liked the video. So feel free to ask a question if you didn't understand something. And uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.